Elvis Kasgay, KT News. Now get this, President William Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga met on Sunday in a deal that brokered the truce to end the countrywide mass protests. According to insiders, President Ruto and Raila Odinga privately flew and met at a hotel in Masai Mara where they agreed on a way out of a grand standoff that had caught the eye of the international community who started piling pressure for dialogue between the two leaders. Our senior political affairs reporter Jeff Kirui with the details. On Sunday, the country was treated to two unprecedented media addresses, one from President William Ruto and the other from Azimio leader Raila Odinga less than two hours apart. The tone of the two events was that of truce that gave dialogue a chance, ending the mass protest led by Raila Odinga that was getting into the third week. I urge my brother Raila Odinga and the opposition to call off the demonstrations and to give this bipartisan approach, a chance for us to take the country forward. We have met and listened to a diverse group of Kenyans, including religious leaders from all faiths about the crisis facing our country today. They, they have implored us to give dialogue, especially during th these holy periods of Easter and Ramadan. According to insiders, the truce was brokered after the two leaders secretly flew Sunday morning for meeting privately in a hotel in Masai Mara. <laughs> Perhaps explaining why the two were missing in action until 4 p.m. in the evening when they emerged seemingly with a concurrence. I have carefully listened to the issues raised by my friend, the Honorable Raila Odinga. In times like this, it is not about who is right or who is wrong. Like Winston Churchill said, courage is what it takes to stand up and speak, but it is also what it takes to sit down and listen. We will engage without any kind of uh, coercion in, in whatever way. Ordinarily, unless out of the country, President William Ruto rarely misses the limelight attending church service. However, Sunday morning, he was missing in action, only to appear in the evening calling for dialogue with Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga, on his part, was scheduled to attend church service at AIPC Ruiru, but did not turn up despite that his advanced team and Azimio co principals were present waiting for him. Scenarios pointing to the behind the scene engagements between the two leaders and key members of their inner circles. According to insiders in the two camps, the pressure was mounting on President William Ruto and Raila Odinga to dialogue. For President William Ruto, the pressure to protect lives and properties, coupled with economical losses occasioned by the demos, were mounting. <laughs> Raila Odinga, on his part, battling an ingenious way out without getting under fire from his supporters, whose momentum to push the government to the wall was growing each passing day. On Sunday last week, several envoys from the Western countries met with Raila Odinga in a bid to have him call off the demonstrations. Days later, United States Senator Chris Coons and a number of clerics also met Raila to implore him to end the mass protests. According to sources within the government, talks began a week ago while the president was away in Germany through emissaries of two members of parliament, close allies of Raila Odinga and President William Ruto. And three days ago, the talks advanced with President Ruto and his close confidants that included a cabinet secretary who sits in the National Security Advisory Council as well as emissaries of Raila Odinga holding a meeting Saturday till late. And Sunday morning, President Ruto and Raila Odinga physical meeting resolved the standoff ending the mass protests. The engagements leading to a win-win situation for the two camps that include a compromise for a bipartisan approach in the recruitment of the selection panel that will conduct interviews to pick new IEBC commissioners, as well as the fast tracking of the institutionalization of the office of the official opposition leader that will fully be facilitated by the taxpayers. Jeff, Kirui, KTN News.